No, no, no. Okay. I go. When we talk about marriage in Ghana, we are not talking about just husband and wife. In the olden days, when parents actually choose suitors or partners for their children. So when one day you will be around a very early in the morning, your parents will call you and said, well, Kofi, we have realized that you are of age and I think you are ready to get married. So we want you to get married to Mr. Soso and So's daughter. Now they are not telling you this because they want to have your opinion. They are telling you this because they have come to their decision. <coughs> so whether you say yes or no, they'll say, well, then your mother will come in and say, well, you know, your father, I don't know your father for many why this and then so love grows. So they tell you this and then that's it. Then they will send emissaries to the intended girl's family that they want you to marry to. And they will inform them that, well, we want your son to get married to, we want your daughter to get married to our son. So, uh, what, then they also say, okay, give us some time to think about it. Now, what they do give us some time to think about it is to go and research or investigate the other family background. They investigate, and when they are satisfied that they don't have any COVID cover diseases, they are not those, they are not those, and they are satisfied, they will also call their daughter one morning and say, well, Akosia, we want to have a talk with you. And then they said, okay, you have realized that you have come of age and we want you to get married to Mr. Susan and Son's son. Well, this time too, they are not telling you because they want you to have a no. They are telling you the decision. Now, after that, they will send emissaries to the other family and say, okay, the discussion you had with us the last time, come forward and let's talk or let's do this. Now, when they go, first of all, they go with a bottle of schnapp. Now, this bottle of schnapp, we call it the knocking fit, knocking. Now, this bottle of schnapp is given as a sign that when you see my son and your daughter standing anywhere, don't get angry because so it starts that way. Now, when they accept this, it does not give you license to be in a corner at all hours or uh, this, no. What they just intend is that you can go to that house and do some house chores for your uh, in-laws. Okay, in-laws, do some house chores. Or if the man can go to the prospective in-laws house to go and farm, help them with, and all that. Then they will give you the dowry. Now it differs from family to family. It differs from also tribe to tribe. In so then we'll give you a list. Now this list is a tall list having some monetary aspect apart, clothes, underwear, underpants, everything, and then all that. Then we have the special one. <laughs> the special one. The special one is a compensation to the brother-in-laws. A special compensation to the brother-in-laws. This compensation is inserted in because they have taken care of their sister till you are coming for her. So they do that. Now when you are ready with all this, a date is set. 
when the date is set, they come with all the item and pop and pageantry and dance. Now, that day, the marriage is put together. Now, you are not to run off with your wife just like you run around. No. You wait, you go by, everything is done. You go back home, and in the evening, they will, the young men who accompanied with a dance and brought your wife to you. And when it's brought to you now, that, from that day on, you are married, not to your husband alone, not to your wife alone, and you are married to both families. So the, if the, your wife has about seven siblings, you are married to them, you are married to everybody, uncles, and everybody in that family. Likewise. So that house is open 24 hours, seven days a week. Now, before then, in some part of the country, that marriage or bef you will not come on, or you will not be ready for marriage if you don't pass through puberty rights. Now, if you don't pass through that puberty right in the Krobo land, and you, uh, excuse me to say, you go and sleep with a man, and unfortunately for you, you get pregnant, you and your family, you are in trouble. They will not accept that, so you have to go through this puberty right before, and I think in those days, it helped keep teenage pregnancy. Yes, but now, so, when you are, wherever you are in Ghana, I can choose as a member or as in-law, I can come to that house at any time. Of the day, of the night, any time. Eat your food, do whatever I want, and I go back. Now, these days, it were parents for suitors for their uh, sons or daughters. is not, but still, when you go out there, and you look at somebody and you think the person is okay i love well the two of you can say your love and love and love then you have to bring the person home bring and introduce them to your parent that this is my man this now as he or she is coming in your parents are watching he's coming he's going and all that they might be asking him or her some questions and they are formulating there. So one day, they will call you and say, Huh, Akosia, do you think this guy that you are bringing to this house will be suitable, will be a good husband? Look at the way he dress. Look at the way he answers questions. I don't think it's good for you. Now when they say this, they are done with you. And likewise, the Man, they'll say, oh, John, come here. Look at this lady we are bringing to this house. A lady come into this house, not even pick a broom and sweep, not even try to wash your cloth, not even try to do this. She will not uh, even come and you see me, your mother, in the kitchen. And you don't say, oh, come, uh, can I help you? No, she will not be a good one for you. Now when they said this, they're done. If you said, oh, then they'll tell you, okay, that's fine. If you have any problem in that marriage, don't come to me. We don't want to hear anything about that. So they do that, and then they get married. Now, the tradition now, we call something white wedding. And so now, after the performance of the traditional marriage, now they call it traditional marriage. But in the olden days, that is the real marriage. And today, 2022, is still the real marriage. Because, now when that is done, if you see a lady outside, the two of you can stay together for 10 years, have all the babies you have having, but just pray that nothing happened to that lady or nothing happened to that man. If something happened, the family will come on you and tell you that we don't know you. <laughs> Who do you bring in the money to this student? No, 
they are not your children. Because and some families will go to the extent of you getting married to the dead person before she is buried. And then also, when she's, they can also find you for impregnating their daughter without their knowledge. So you steal their daughter and you pay some fines. Now, I'm coming to the nice part of it is that in Ghana, in the tradition, you can marry two or more. more. And so, likewise, the chiefs can also marry two or more. So if you have a wife and you are a stool, you can have the stool wife. They call those ones stool wives. <laughs> now, if you have, now what happened is this. For example, not just out of the blue, the family has said that come and marry another. No. When you are going to marry a second wife, the family will look at how you take care of the first wife, how you take care of your other children before they will allow you to get married to the, to the other wife. So it is acceptable to have two wives or more depending on your pocket. Not because no. So that is acceptable. Yes. In the Ghanaian society. Now they do that because in those days, now it doesn't say, oh, why, why, and so there should be no cheating. But those who are married to one wife, and do the white wedding or whatever are cheating more than those who have two wives. Because they do that. And that's why a lot of marriages now in Ghana is even broken. Now, when you are married in Ghana, you have your wedding and everything, and you are divorcing, it's not just, I hate you, I'm tired of this marriage. I don't want to be in it again. Go away. No, 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 no. Oh, this is your... Now, first point. The husband's house is his house. It's not you, the woman's house. So you can't carry his luggages and say, get out of my house. No, it doesn't happen that way in Ghana. You can't throw him out of the house. You have to go out. Yes. You can't say, this is my house go out or you stand on the balcony and throw his two shirts and say, go out, no. You will not have it in God. You have to find a way and out of the house. Wow. Yes. Now, when that marriage is not working, what you do is you go back to the family and say, you see the head of the family and say, okay, this is the trouble, and then they will sit down and call both parties and talk to them and say, okay, thus, that, now when they talk and it's not working, what they do is, they'll tell you, okay, they'll give you maybe two months. If you think it's not, then you, but what they do, they'll return the first drink that you send, the schnapp that you send, they will return the schnapp back to you. That signify the dissolution of the marriage between the families now it's accepted. Now when you do, and then you just walk off, and you are staying in China, you are staying in the US, you are staying wherever. When something happened to that lady, the woman, the family will come and ask, where is our daughter? Or where is our son? If because I'll tell you, when you were coming for her, you didn't meet her or that, no, you came to the house. So you must bring her back to the house. So you can separate for 10 years and they will still consider you to marry. So if you don't know, and you go and bring another woman to that house, they will come and fight you. That's what they do. Now, childbirth, is also very important 
in the Ghanaian society. Marriage without a child is a big problem for couples in Ghana. Now, the first accuse is always the woman. Now, the very first day you are married, they start counting the day, hours and the months. When it's about one year, you start what is happening here. Two years, uh, you see, especially if the family didn't really like you, and the man forced to marry you, what they'll do is, you'll be there one day, and then they'll just come. come. They'll carry another woman to the house, knock the door, and say, hey, you get out. Now you go in, and then <laughs> stay in. Because you are not giving us time. And our brother, our, uh, our son, cannot be just taking care of you for anything, and we can't have our grandchildren and all that. Sometimes, when your husband likes you more, you have to find them and ward them off, but sometimes some of them come off. Now, when you have that or become pregnant, then you are the darling of everybody. You treat to you everything. Then I just wait for you to give back. Now, when you give back, you keep that baby, you are the queen of everybody in that family. You keep that baby indoors within the compound for eight days. Then on the eighth day, they give you or out of, call it out. This out now has taken another dimension. Because in the olden days, or in those times, very early in the morning before the sun rises, the immediate families and your grand gather, and then they gave you the name. But people sitting around will not know the name of the baby. Only the one who, your grandfather, who is going to perform the naming ceremony will know the name because they write it on paper and give it to him. Now, in those days, they use water and alcohol, or water and uh, asana, or what we call asana. Then, he would dip his hand into the water and tie the lips of the baby and say, this is water. When you see water, you say water. You do that three times. Then you tie the alcohol, tie the lips, and say, this is alcohol. When you see alcohol, you say alcohol. You top it up, you show the baby to the sky, say, this is the sky. When you see the sky, you say the sky. Put the baby on the ground and say, this is the end. When you see the end, you say the end. Then you throw the water, look at the sky, pour, pour on the baby. Sometimes they start crying and then they'll pick. Now this is done to inculcate telling the truth throughout your life. When it's red, you say it's red. Then your name will be mentioned to the gathering. And from that, that day on, you are accepted into the family and you are also under everybody in that family. So that is how marriage is done. You know, and today, if you go to the church and, or you go to the club or you sit in on the bus and you meet somebody and you talk to, you still have to do the needful. Because if you don't do that, you are in trouble with their parents or if not their parents, his uncle, her uncles, her everybody, you are in trouble. Now, when that girl is pregnant and you go forward, you will be fine. So they'll tell you, okay, when the lady is pregnant, you don't perform any marriage. Wait till she gives birth. When she gives birth, then you come and perform everything. Another point is, when you don't do those things that you give, give them birth. When the woman die, those children be taken from you, the man, because you said they can they don't know you, so they can give you their yeah, children. Yeah. So it does happen. So you do that before you uh, be accepted and have. So sometimes they will force and name the children with the ladies' family name because you have 
for any time. So that's how it is. So, but women are not allowed to marry two or three. Ah, ah, ah. And when you are for cheating, it's serious. Very, very serious. When you are found that you are cheating on your husband in Ghana, it is a serious case. That but what about the man cheating on <laughs> no, it's not a good case. It's no sir. Well, this is a man world. It's a man's world. So once a while, men do that. But you are a woman. You have to carry yourself well. You don't so when you do that, you don't carry yourself well. You're a bad woman, that's what it is. And so that's not a bad man. No. They're sleeping around. No. Oh, the only one true. in the head, be careful. Yeah, but that's a, 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 a man's world. Yeah. So, so you don't, woman, and if your husband is cheating, you have to make sure and make sure that she. Both are cheating. No. Yes. If both, no. It is a both. Yes. When you are caught. It means when you're caught, well, then you're in trouble. They will get you out of the house. If a man caught, he's not in trouble. Oh, no, no, no. no. You can see. You no, see that's it. Oh. That's why I said both. You just say, oh, both OK. It's OK. It's a man. No, you know, I let's see. talk it. It's no, done. I got to get rid of both. You know? <laughs> As a man, I'm getting rid of him. <laughs> yes, he got to go. Yeah, but <laughs> the, the Western world yeah. has destroyed yeah, our beautiful right. union right. in Ghana. They yes. have done great, 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 great the service to the wonderful marriage union we have in Ghana. And especially in those days, we have a lot of single parents in Ghana like we have in it today. Yeah. We don't have a lot of teenage pregnancy as we have in it today. Just because people are saying it's modern. And most of all, the churches are also helping, but the, the children will to their parents anymore. Yeah, the and like I also said, the uh, purity right, people are not following that religiously. I'm not talking, if I say religious, I'm just using it. Yeah, yeah, they are not following it as they do. So because now it is, parents are afraid they are children are not listening, the young girls, so to do it for them very early, maybe age five, age six, I mean, what does it know? Nothing. But those days, if you are going through that process, they send you to an old lady, and this old lady will teach you how to dress, how to clean yourself, how to do all those things. Now, to find out if you have not seen a man before you go through, they take you to a secret store and they put you on it. One, two, three. They believe that when you are able to rise on the third one, it means you are free to go. But on the, if you do that on the third one, you'll be stuck. But the stone and you know it. So you, you are fine now that you have seen a man. So then your family is in trouble that you have to find the family that make them unclean and all that. So that is how that is how it's it in the family. So don't worry. Don't worry. Now it is when you are married to a Kenyan, you are married to one man, and you are married to everybody in the family. Yes. So, and if you don't have kids, be <laughs> ready to bring one into the house. Okay, you have any questions? If not, uh, uh, financially, yes. Uh, yes, okay. in the house, financially, 
it is the man's responsibility to take care of the wife, the children, and everybody in that house. Now, if you are a man and you are not doing that, it's a problem for you in Ghana. Yes. And even when you the woman you work in, the man needs also to provide what we call this one, we translate this word directly from the local language into English. You must make sure you give chopped money. That's housekeeping money. We call it chopped money. You have to give this money. Yes. Okay, and I just said before, there's a problem when the couple is married. The first thing you think, if it's the children, it's the wife. Both they found out it's not the wife, it's the husband. That's why, you know, you remember the saying before that the couple is married and then, you know, they don't have the kids. Then, a children. Then, I mean, you don't need to look to the wife first. Suppose the problem is not the wife, they found out it's really the husband. Yes. Well, yes, it's so true. Sometimes when they find out is the husband, then they try to talk to the lady, not to bring a shame to the man. So they say, oh, you know, yeah, this thing happened, let's see what will happen, just stay. Yeah, just stay and let's see what will happen. So in that case, the family know that is from their side. So they will now begin to. Because in Ghana, it's a big shame or disgrace if a man, you are not performing. Right. Oh, <laughs> So if the woman come and they go and another come and they go, then trouble. So they will make sure they talk to you and then stay and let's see what's up. So they can have the lady staying, seeing 40 years, 30 years, and nothing happened. But yet still, if it's the woman's fault, it's a whole different thing. Break the second thing. Um, yeah. so, and then uh, the lady is put up. Yeah. have to put up and tolerate all of that all yeah. the years. So that is what happened in Ghana. Yeah.